Hey guys, today we're going to talk about low cholesterol and vitamin D deficiencies, the connection between the two. I recently had someone ask a question about vitamin D deficiencies, and upon questioning her, I found that she was also on a statin. So I wanted to create a whole video on it because I think it's important to know about this. In order to make vitamin D, you need cholesterol. Cholesterol is essential for the production of vitamin D. So even when you get sun, for example, and it hits your skin, there's a chemical combination that occurs with sun, skin, cholesterol, and then the conversion to the liver and kidney to make vitamin D. And by the way, vitamin D, one of the functions of vitamin D is to increase the absorption of calcium by 20 times in the small intestine. Vitamin D also is anti-inflammatory. It's anti-thrombotic, which means it reduces clots in the body. It also helps in vascular protection. It helps your heart. It increases HDL. It's anti-cancer. Now here's the problem. When people are taking statins, guess what? They're blocking all the cholesterol in the body and they're also lowering their vitamin D. And there's an interesting connection between the main symptom of statins, which is achy muscles, and the main symptom of vitamin D deficiency, which is achy muscles. So it's exactly the same thing. So when a person takes statins, they're going to block their vitamin D because they're not going to have enough cholesterol. And that's what happened with this lady. I think her statins were interfering with the cholesterol and then the vitamin D. And that's why she had actually had, she had really sore muscles all the time and she didn't know why. So she was thinking I was going to take vitamin D. Yes, you can do that, but you, you really want to take a look at the source material that's actually making vitamin D. Another interesting thing is that cholesterol is needed as the raw material to make bile. And bile is the detergent that helps you break down fats and extracts things from the dietary fat. So bile is created from cholesterol. So again, if you don't have enough cholesterol, you can't make enough bile. And if you don't have enough bile in the gallbladder, you're not going to absorb the vitamin D. And you're also not going to be able to break down the cholesterol that comes from the diet in the future. So you actually need bile to break down cholesterol, but you also need cholesterol to make bile. So there's a huge connection back and forth. People that are bile deficient end up getting kidney stones, and those are cholesterol stones. So cholesterol stones are created from a lack of bile. So again, you need to have enough cholesterol to make bile. But in this video, I just wanted to emphasize the importance of enough, having enough cholesterol in the body for your vitamin D levels, as well as your bile production. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.